If you missed Google's events, Google Marketing Live, um, I'm here to give you the highlights. And shout out to Ari on our team for going through and actually um, taking notes. Well done, Ari. Really appreciate you. Uh, I'll go fast and then include a link to um, the Google's video if you want to watch the whole damn thing. Uh, but they're rolling out a lot. There's a ton of features coming. And some of these had to have been just locked and loaded waiting for Performance Max to roll out. YouTube Shorts, I think, is one of the things I'm most uh, excited about. We don't use YouTube Shorts the way that we should, but we're going to start. And I think that um, YouTube Shorts are going to have, hopefully, a, a pretty interesting opportunity to capture some of that tickety-talk market. Um, and then ads inside of Shorts are going to be fun, too, because they're going to be, there's just, there's so much impression capability there. I think the one short I've added to YouTube has, like, 5x the number of views any of my other average videos get. Um, so there's just far more expansion capabilities. Uh, video on Discovery, fine. Um, connected TV. Y'all, for, from a brand perspective, awareness building, you know, display-based impressions, this is going to be really cool too, especially as Google starts building out their third-party partnerships. Um, so I'm excited about that. Not excited about Google's experiments at all. We've had experiments before. They suck. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's unfair. There's things that you can do with them, but it's nothing new. It's like, all right, thank you. We've, you know, been there, done that. I am excited about Google's explanations from an insights perspective. I do, I like Google's... Um, I like Google's insights uh, for Performance Max specifically. And so um, even if I don't agree with the context that's being provided, what this is, is Google explaining to us how it's gauging. Um, I mean, it's kind of tipping its hat to its algorithm in some ways. And so you get a sense as to what Google's paying attention to and why. Uh, optimization score instead of Performance Max, <laughs> don't care. Uh, campaign support for Search Ads 360. We don't use Search Ads 360. It's an enterprise software tool that I've never seen value in. Um, so don't care. Um, lift test. Oh, so the geo experiment functionality is going to be really cool, especially because Google's doing in or interested in. Uh, so I'd be really interested to see uh, region split test, um, conversion test, and search lift tests in a secure and safe way. Uh, so we're going to be able to test conversion lift based off of conversion actions. I am interested in that. This helps with assisted conversions, activity that exists on the periphesis. How does one campaign influence another campaign that are seemingly independent of each other? Or a campaign influence a conversion action that might be independent of each other? Um, that's pretty cool. The asset library that's already rolled out is cool. Um, the automated created assets... Uh, I think that's on a different page. So I I thought this already existed. I don't know why they said this. There will be an open beta by the end of this year. We can already ask questions directly through Google My Business. Uh, directly message businesses through search. I guess that's the one that's not. I think Sean Clark over at High Level told me about this, and I thought it was already there. Um, so High Level is a part of the beta, so we got to see some of the beta functionality. It was pretty cool. Um, and I guess now that's it's ready to rock. Uh, so go high level for being early adopters here. Asset libraries, thats that actually is going to be really helpful. It'll just keep everything all in one place. You can use it everywhere. Um, Google Analytics 4 is going to be a train wreck that I hate. Um, the, the, the decision engine, thank you for hiding all of our data and then instead telling us what it means for us, big brother. Um, this is so cool! Attribution insights. Um... I'll never trust Google's attribution modeling, and not even because I don't—I I think they're doing anything wrong. It's because they'll never have—they'll never have other traffic channels. So how could you? So you, you still need to use third-party attribution. We're early-stage investors in Northbeam, by the way. You can go to Northbeam.co, I think, or is it .io. North, Northbeam.io. Go sign up for Northbeam. Um, but this is still so cool. It's so cool, and. Uh, I mean, you actually have attribution modeling inside of Google Ads, but just some, from a performance perspective, to be able to see it broken down this way is going to be really exciting, make things a little bit easier. Budget insights, kind of cool. We've had those before. They work-ish. So, you know, expanding them across, I guess, PMAX is the point here. Or giving us more context. I don't know what they're telling us. Audience insights with first-party data. 
dude, Google's audience insights for PMAX are, ins I mean, just unbelievably helpful. So this is going to be really helpful for asset group creation, new audience targeting. Um, I don't know what this means. Insights page manager account. Okay. Sorry, y'all. Go watch the video. I don't know what that is. Um, account level optimization score. Thank you for nothing, Google. Here's your grade on how well you give us money. Um, privacy and measurement, like Google cares. Where's the screen? This is so funny. We never sell your personal information. Yeah, we use it and then we sell you. Uh, we never use sensitive information to personalize ads. But we use it to target. We never use the content you create to personalize ads. That's... There's no way that's true. I feel like I could disprove that personally. Um, they've used emails I've written to personalize ads. That's content I've created. We work on your behalf to protect your privacy. All right, fine. Uh, later this year, Google expanded testing of interest-based ads and remarketing. New customer acquisition, which I was more excited about than I am now because we were able to test this in beta. And I think John said we've tested it six times and it's not what we would hope it would be. Uh, marketing mix modeling. Conversion modeling updates. Okay, maybe. I don't trust your conversion modeling. Data-driven attribution. Available regardless of volume. <laughs> Overnight, rip the band-aid right off there. Default for most new actions. Which, by the way, I think that data-driven attribution is the safe, it's the safe option. Um, Google Tag Manager has always been Google Tag Manager. What are you telling me here? Google Tag. Manage tags centrally without additional code. Cool. Always been able to do that. Don't know why this is new. This is flipping so cool. So cool. Enhanced conversions for leads. Y'all, this is going to be what makes Performance Max work for lead generation without it being hard. Um... Google is going to have lead funnel reporting and it looks like it's coming directly from your CRM. So Google's opened a beta for enhanced conversions and okay, so they're going enterprise first, of course. What's weird is they're going enterprise first, but they're going, HubSpot's not an enterprise CRM. Um, Telium segment and particle, I don't even know what these are. Those must be, is this an enterprise CRM? I bet you it is. Customer data platform, yeah. I love all these, watch, it's just going to be a bunch of words we don't know. Telium connects data to your, what? Telium connects data so you can connect with your customers. It doesn't mean anything. What does that mean? The most trusted customer data platform. All right, what's the other one? I hate enterprise software language. I hate it. It makes me feel so stupid. That's the thing is I've met the people that buy this software. They're not any smarter than I am. Why are we speaking this way? The leading customer data platform join 20,000 businesses that use segment software and APIs to collect, clean, and activate their customer data. All right, whatever. I don't care. Um, available on enterprise level. That doesn't help any of us. If and when this is available to SMBs, that this will be an absolute, complete, and total game changer. It replaces offline conversion tracking, uh, I'm assuming. And... It basically turns lead generation and e-commerce in terms of Google's ability to optimize for leads. Here's the pr problem, though, is you're going to Google your LTV, which means Google's going to be able to optimize you. You're going to become the commodity, which is always so scary. Regardless, this is really exciting. You know, 50% of the market is at a disadvantage right now, and uh, that'll fix that. Really cool. Two-thirds of U.S. shoppers say they start... They're shopping online. Ah, yeah, it's more than that. It's four thirds, four out of three. Um, AR functionality is going to be kind of cool. They tried it, they failed. They're coming back. We'll see. Um, shopping ads, visual and immersive ad experience in search. They'll be rolled out by the end of the year. There's, I'm sure, some more context here in the video. Um, excited about YouTube Shorts. We already talked about that. Um, soon you'll be able to bid and measure physical store sales on Performance Max. This way you'll be able to measure omni-channel impact across all your e-commerce stores in a way that only Google can deliver. That's awesome. That would open up a whole new market for me as an agency. Because, you know, local at the moment is tough. 
bid and measure physical store sales instead of performance max. So they they had something, I don't know if y'all remember this or if anybody remembers this, they had something called Google Beacon. And they sent out to retailers on a beta level, they sent out this plastic, I don't know if it was like RFID or NFC, I don't, I don't understand any of that stuff. Um, but you were going to put it in your store and then Google was going to use that, I think, to auto tag users that it could track. Um, but I, I never, I mean, how would you tie revenue to that? I guess you, the store, in your point of sale system would need to tie that user to that session and then Google would tie him back to an ad impression. I don't know. I didn't get it. It didn't go anywhere. I don't even think we had the opportunity to ever even use Beacon. They just sent it out and some of our customers were like, oh, we have this. And we're like, great. We'll let you know when we know how to use it. Um, I'm going to go to school and where that happened. But if Google can pull this off, that's so exciting. And you know what's really nice about that is that'll actually help people that like deserve help. All those little mom and pop shops, um, assuming that they make it available for that threshold, I guess, that's always going to be the caveat here is Google's really doing this for you know REI and Dick's Sporting Goods. They're not doing it for us. Um, but man, that would be awesome. Product fees in YouTube sorts, cool. Uh, check out in merchant that will be so Google's going after Amazon kind of um, later this year view critical information to improve quality of your feed more efficiently that actually would be really helpful Google took you long enough you morons um, identify products with missing attributes cool see competitors stronger offers <laughs> that's amazing depending on what it is that they give us um and I guess in some ways you can already do this, but it, it'd be cool if it's being spoon fed. Uh, this is also, it's a, it's a, that's the path. This is a race to the bottom from an e-commerce perspective here. Um, but I guess, I guess that's just what advertising does. This is cool. You'll be able to showcase your loyalty benefits on Google for existing members. Performance Max will help you reach new loyalty members. It will show them special ads designed to capture them. So if you've got a continuity product, that could be amazing. Pay me to pay me. I love that entire model. Uh, and here's the video. Um, Google Marketing Live Keynote 2022. How long is this thing? Two hours. So you can watch my 12 minute video or you can watch this two hour thing and I'm pretty sure I already got everything. I haven't watched it. I'm not going to. I'll just hate watch it for two hours and yell at the screen. I have more effective things to do with my time. Like watch Gabriel Iglesias. Um, there's so much coming. You know what's really interesting is we got access to Google's beta slides. Uh, John had to sign an NDA, so we can't talk about it. Like none of the things that I was excited about in those slides made it into this presentation. So it just makes me wonder because the slides didn't include any turnaround time at all on, on any of the stuff. And some of it is so cool and so exciting especially from an agency perspective because it keeps us relevant. Um, but they didn't like, that's clearly not a part of this year's rollout. I mean, they're even teasing beta products in this year's rollout. So it just makes me wonder how far out those things are. Um, you got to hand it to a man like Google. God, they're playing the long game. You know, some of the changes that they made in preparation for performance max are three years old. Like they really... This was very intentional. This is a, this. Oh, and I guess it makes sense. It's a, it's a, it's a cosmic shift. Is cosmic the right word? It's a glacial shift. It's a tectonic shift. And I guess that would have to happen slowly. I got there. Anyway, let me know what you think. I'd be interested in the features that you key in on and the ones that you think are uh, noteworthy. Other than that, see you tomorrow. Wait before you go. I'm constantly looking for amazing people to come join our team. So if you're passionate about Google ads and you're passionate about customer success, please go to solate.com forward slash apply. And we'd love to see you as a part of the Solutions 8 team. Also, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. It lets the YouTube algorithm know that we actually know what we're doing. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. We shoot a video every single day and I don't want you to miss out on any of it.
Lastly, if you have questions, comments, concerns, confessions, or you just hate my face and my voice, go ahead and hit us up in the comments. We get very little human interaction, and even the heckling is something that I kind of get a kick out. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being subscribers if you're a subscriber. Don't forget to apply if you're interested in working at Solutions 8. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow.